Joseph. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Back in 2021, so three years ago, we ran our first land-based war game and here it is. War game 1A, could Taiwan survive an aerial first strike by China? More than 200 war games later and about 250 videos, we've come full circle. We are ready to revisit this. There's a good reason. When we ran this original attack, we didn't have, for instance, Chinese ballistic missiles. We now do. We didn't have modern naval assets and weapons. We now do. We didn't have modern 2020s air-to-air -air missiles. We now do. So today, we ask, could Taiwan survive an all-out attack by China without America's help? If it goes well, maybe we'll come back and revisit it with a version where America helps out. This is a big complex battle and I know most of you don't listen to the boring bit at the beginning where I talk about stats and numbers because it's boring but I urge you if possible to do that this time because it's not going to make much sense if you don't because we've had to do some scaling and stuff like that. So first the all important research Taiwan Air Force combat aircraft F5s 27 of them. Indigenous FCK-1s, 103 of them. Mirage 2000, the Dash 5 variant, 45 of them. F-16, the backbone of the air-to-air -air force, 110 of them. A's and V's, I think Block 50. And 6 AEW, E-2 Hawkeye. I didn't know which missiles they used, so we had to look that up too. So, the F-16s use AMRAAM, C-5s, C-7s and C-8s. They have a lot of sparrows, but I doubt they would be used now. Mirages use Mika's IR and radar guided variant. Most aircraft use a Sidewinder variant up to AIM-9X variant. The indigenous fighter, the FCK, uses Skysword 1 and Skysword 2. It's the equivalent of an AIM-9M and an AIM-120C5. And the Mirage also uses Magic 2 for close range. Surface-to-air missiles. Taiwan has seven Patriot systems, Pac-2 and Pac-3, indigenous Skybo-2 and 3, six Skybo-2, over 12 Skybo-3, guided AAA, 24 Skyguard sets, and 500 RIM-7 Sea Sparrow missiles converted for ground-to-air use. And the Navy, only interested in guided frigates and destroyers. It's fairly measly, to be honest. Destroyers, they have four of them. Key Lung class, converted 1970s kid class destroyers from America. Frigates, 10 Cheng Kung class. These are Oliver Has a Perry from the 1970s. Again, American vessels. Chi Yang class, six of them. X Knox class frigates. I think these are 1960s, maybe they're 70s. Let me know, please. From America. And their most modern vessel is the Kang Ding class. These are French frigates with limited armament from late 1990s. Six of those. Total, 26 vessels. China, I had to look at the Air Force. Now, China has a massive Air Force, but it's split into five sectors. All we're interested in is Eastern Theater Command. So, Chinese Eastern Theater Command combat aircraft as best I could find. Bombers, H-6, 45 of them. Next, I've skipped out JH-7, J-7, SU-27, SU-30, SU-35, J-8 for a good reason. The JH-7, the J-7 and the J-8 are very old aircraft and not particularly relevant in this battle. Probably would not be in the front line. The Sukhois, as far as I can see, are not in the Eastern Theatre Command and they probably wouldn't be on the front line either. So, the J-10 is the backbone of their Air Force, 120. J-11, 78. J-16, 50. And the most modern aircraft, the Stealth J-20. 60 of them. AEW, KJ-2002, KJ-201 and KJ-505. It's a total of about 350 aircraft. Surface-to-air missiles is not going to be too relevant today, but their mainstay would be HQ-9 based on the Russian S-300 system and HQ-22, a longer range variant. They've got an awful lot of SAMs. So, with the research done, we have to apply this to our battle. We have limited resources to simulate this battle, so we have to scale things. Some of it will be scaled uniformly, and some of it will be scaled smartly or representatively. The air forces, the aircraft on both sides will all be scaled down to 33%, a third, equally.
the ships and the SAMs will be scaled representatively. So, let me explain. Taiwan, overview. Missile simulated today. Well, they have eight Patriot sites in real life, and we're just simulating two, and I'll explain why later. They have various other sites, and they will not be represented at all. Man pads they also have, and we'll be missing those out too, due to role play. We'll come back to that. Ships, they have, I think, 26 large ships, of which Oliver has a Perry, they have 10. And we're actually simulating 22 of those today. 22 Oliver has a Perrys to simulate most of their entire navy. That's probably a good enough analog. Their ships are fairly old and limited in fighting ability. Aircraft. As we saw before, they have 27 F5s. We're doing 9. 103 FCKs. We're doing 34. 45 Mirage 2000-5s. We're doing 12. 110 F16s. We're doing 37. And 6 E2s. We're doing 2. So a third of their air force. The Chinese attack will come in three stages or three waves. Wave 1 will be a giant ballistic missile strike. I'm going to assume 500 ballistic missiles will be fired, of which I will simulate 50 to be representative. Their SAMs, of which they have loads, are shut down. Their open source doctrine is that they will not operate SAMs in China if their own aircraft are operating in that theater or that zone. Obviously, this is going to be a hugely contested airspace, so all Chinese SAMs will be shut down. Ships. Of the 8055 modern destroyers they have, we are simulating 5. And of the over 30 052 destroyers they have, we're simulating 15. Aircraft, again, 33%. So H6 bombers of the 45, we're simulating 15. Of the 120 J10s, we're simulating 40. Of the 50 J16s, we're simulating 17. Of the 60 J20 stealth aircraft, we're simulating 20 at a radar cross section of 0.05 square meters. And of the 78 J11s, we are simulating 26. On to geography. You can see here we've had to rotate everything, but otherwise it's pretty much to scale. 100 miles across the Strait, Taiwan, 220 miles long. For reference, we have Taipei here and we have Vu's Hao, sorry for the pronunciation in China, here. Next, we have to go into the details, viewers. So um, I think I'm going to start with Taiwan first. Two E2s at the back here, AEW. They will have 22 Oliver Has a Perry frigates scattered about their south and southeast in this case, which in reality is the north, representing most of their fighting navy. In terms of air defence, they've got a lot of air defence in Taiwan, but what we're simulating today is first Dongfeng ballistic missile strike from China, and that will be directed at Taiwan's air defense. The first thing they're going to do is knock out any static air defense, Patriot sites, Sky Sword sites, Sky Guard sites, and whatnot. We're scaling that down because I don't want to fire 500 missiles. It's going to be impossible to simulate. So defending this base here, a primary F-16 base, will be two batteries of Patriot, Pac-2, and mainly Pac-3 for defense. And that's the reason why we're not simulating all of their SAM sites. It will become more obvious when we run the sim through. Next, aircraft. Nine F5s from this base and this base. AI, pretty much as they would have in real life with sidewinders and a fuel tank. All AI is set to veteran skill level, charged with taking off, going into the strait and fighting to the death with no restrictions at all and no orders. It's just the easiest way to simulate this and I need aircraft to be shot down at a high rate because we're simulating so many, the server won't survive for very long with 500 or so aircraft on the screen. So everyone will be fighting to the death. We'll come back to this base here. This base is going to be simulating their main base near Taipei, Again, sorry for the uh, pronunciations today. It's going to be their F-16s, uh, all numbers as declared in the overview. It will be a Block 70 with three AIM-120 C-7 missiles. Next will be their Mirages from this base here with Mika missiles, RF uh, and IR missiles and Magic Close Range missiles and fuel tanks. Finally, their indigenous fighter, the FCK-1. Today, played by Hornet. It's going to be relatively similar in, in its capability uh, with the loadout we see here with two AIM-120C5s representing Sky Sword 2 and AIM-9X uh, simulating Sky Sword 1. Uh, and that's their Air Force scaled down to a third. Next, China. Stage 1 will be the DF-21 attack. We don't have DF-21, but we have a generic ballistic missile that we're going to be used here, made by us by Dark. I think the model was supplied by CH. That will be our representation 
of the large DF-21 initial strike. The next thing will be a naval strike from a couple of hundred miles away. We have a mixture of 052 and 55 destroyers with modern anti-ship missiles and they will be attacking Taiwan's navy. Uh, next, we have bombers coming in from the east coast of China. 15 H6Js, each armed with YJ-83 subsonic anti-ship missiles, again attacking Taiwan's navy. And that's wave two. Then comes wave three. Once the SAMs are taken down and the navy's taken down, then the fighters will take off to shoot down any of Taiwan's air force that got airborne. First, J-20, their most modern fighter here, visible uh, to a modern radar at about 30 miles. So it's a relatively stealthy aircraft with... Uh, four PL-15s and two PL-10s. Next, the J-10s, their mainstay, a small indigenous fighter. They will have six or four, depending on the squadron, PL-15s and two PL-10s and fuel tank. Then we have J-11s, older aircraft, armed with uh, adders uh, or PL-12s, uh, older missiles and archers. Uh, J-15s playing J-16s today. They're very similar aircraft with similar capabilities and we'll do for today with six PL-15s and two PL-10s, all AI steel. And is that everything done? That's everything done. So all as specified at the beginning. Two AWACS here and here. They have more to spare, but they just won't need it today. So we don't need any more. And finally, our humans to add a bit of spice. Humans will be allowed to respawn for those that want to fly in this. Uh, the humans get to fly if I can find their base. There it is in J-15s, as we saw before. If you want to be Chinese or if you want to be Taiwanese, uh, you can be here and you can have F-16s, as we saw before, guys. And that is a half representative and half scaled battle of what's going to be happening today. Guys, from what you've seen here, uh, it seems pretty clear to me, but without you, S is help. Who's going to win, Taiwan or China East Command? Taiwan would have a little bit of a shot if we had Cortana with us. No Cortana today. She's got a new job, Grump. Without US help, uh, there's there's no chance. Aren't you just supposed to answer with America always? Yes, but no America today. If if it's fun, no we'll redo it with American help. It's, it's hard to do, though, because... How much of America do you want to send? A carrier group? Two carrier groups? We'll, we'll see what the viewers say. All right, viewers, um, I'm going to go with China because obviously more aircraft. They've got uh, longer range missiles. They've got a massive ballistic missile strike, which obviously Taiwan doesn't have, and a massive navy. So I think it's got to be them, but we'll see. Stand by, guys. Welcome to the battle, viewers. We start with the wave one attack, a small segment of a larger attack, 50 ballistic missiles being launched. Now, the way we're modeling this is a representative attack. We're launching against uh, the largest airfield in Taiwan, which is heavily defended by a couple of Patriot firing pack three missiles. And I would make the assumption that if China really did this, they would fire hundreds, hundreds of missiles at these various sites to take out the air defenses. Uh, this is the first time we've actually fired these, so I hope they work. Uh, Dark made them for us. They're a two-piece ballistic missile. In fact, I think this is right in saying this is the first time we've actually got ballistic missiles to fully work in DCS, so fingers crossed it all works. That's quite impressive. So just imagine hundreds of these missiles being fired from all over China. This isn't a DF-21. This is just a, a generic ballistic missile that we use for all purposes of ballistic missiles. Um, now, I know what you're going to say, but the Patriot Pack 3 that it's shooting at can shoot down uh, ballistic missiles and is you know, probably made to shoot down these type of missiles. And it will do that today. It will shoot these missiles down. But the whole idea of what I'm trying to represent here is that China would fire so many of these missiles at a relatively small, you know, hundreds of missiles against tens of installations that it would overwhelm the SAM site and the defences. And that's what we're going to try and show today. Some will get through and only a few need to get through. Look at that. Look at the curvature of the Earth. Flat Earthers, do not watch this video. See, look how they all spread out and then they're going to converge again um, in the target area. Speed, 4,500 knots. Altitude, if you can see at the bottom there, 260,000 feet. That is that is space, I think, guys. That's pretty much space. Wow. We're halfway across the strait now. No, Taiwan is not there yet. That's oh, there it is. Yes, it is. Sorry. Yep, my bad. We are above Taiwan now. Uh, two minutes later. 
220,000 feet. Now, where's the target? There it is. There it is. If I zoom in enough, you might see the Patriot sight. No, you can't. 180,000 feet. Four and a half thousand knots. Still can't see the Patriot sights. Patriots, yes, Patriots are firing. Sorry, we can see. The Patriots are firing. Lots and lots of Patriot Pack 3 missiles going out. Yes, there they are. Sorry, I was looking in the wrong place. Okay, missiles getting hit. Do it to it, baby. But with 50 being fired in such a small area. Enough get through to damage the airfield. And enough get through to hit the Patriot. I've run this quite a few times and I get slightly different results each time. But each time, both Patriots do get knocked out. And... Um, and various infrastructure gets damaged at the airfield. So that's the first representative attack, viewers, of why I'm not modelling uh, other Taiwanese SAMs today. Right, now wave two is going to start. The uh, Oh, wow, look at that timing. The Type 055s are sending their YJ-21s and YJ-18 missiles out. Yet another impressive sight. These are anti-ship missiles. How well... The ballistic variant, the YJ-21, would actually work in real life against moving ships is no one knows. They claim that they work, but obviously everyone's going to claim that. As well as that, there are supersonic low-altitude missiles going in, the YJ-18s that will be behind. And obviously, we're targeting the entire Taiwanese Navy now, and they're going to get across the strait in no time, uh, 150 miles or so. 4,500 knots, Mark 10 missile again. Impact velocity of about Mark 6. A modern US ship could defend itself against these missiles with the SM-3 anti-ballistic missiles, but these old Taiwanese ships just don't have the defense against YJ-21 and similar missiles. I don't rate the Taiwan Navy's chances. Oh, we've missed an entire part of the battle. Sorry, viewers. These bombers have just dropped their uh, missiles from the other angle. YJ-83s which will be surface hugging. Uh, oh, sorry, there's just too much going on. Something's happening. Ships can't do it. Two Oliver Hazard Perry's down. Three, four. Wow, it fired at SeaWiz. SeaWiz is not going to do much to stop these, though. Seven, yep, fired at SeaWiz as well. Seven down. In fact, in testing, a few of these YJ-121s actually got shot down by SeaWiz fire. Eight down. Can't click on them fast enough. Nine down. Now come the barrage of YJ-18s. And when you say in testing, that's when you're working on it in single player and multiplayer is totally different. Absolutely, yep. So, um, yeah, I test everything in single player, obviously. And that's why I never really know what's going to happen. Oh, that's the base there. I just found the base that got hit. You never know what's going to happen in um, in multiplayer. And here come the swarm of YJ-18s. Uh, Taiwan had anti-ship missiles, but it's nothing to write home about. It's mainly um, older harpoon-type weapons. Fourteen down. OHP uh, again. They're going to struggle to defend themselves. These will be Mark two point five, Mark three when they impact. Actually, surprised they're not firing at SM twos. They they have got SM twos to fire, but I just can't see the missiles. Eighteen ships down. Fired at Sea was again, but too late. Missile was too fast. All right, guys. Um, it's time for the air forces to take off. As you can see, all the air forces are in now. Uh, let's start working our way through these aircraft then. We have the aging F5, 
they probably wouldn't use it on the front line, but you know, they need to defend themselves, so they're going to send everything up in this case. F 16s today, all played by Block 70 with a modern radar or a powerful radar, and um, AIM 120C7 missiles. As you can see, the uh, Patriots have been knocked out. So we're going to assume that all large batteries have been knocked out over the country at this point. So no defences on either side anymore. These ones have been shot and these ones have been turned off. Mirages and a ghastly old model. The no. human time. Yep, humans, you enter. The Mika missiles and their magic missiles. And finally, the FCKs. These FCKs can do air-to-air. -air. In real life, they would probably be used more likely for anti-shipping. But in this case, they're going to be used for air-to-air. If you skip the briefing, they're played by Hornets today, which will probably be their closest analog to real life. Uh, just going to have a look at the Chinese, the bombers, or RTB. J wow, J20 is airborne already. They want blood. Radar cross section set to 0 0.05 square meters means that they can be seen at about 30 miles. So not as stealthy as a, a US stealth plane, but it will be enough to make a difference. J10s, uh, affordable indigenous fighter that they can strap big missiles to. J15s playing J16s today. More expensive fighter that they can also strap big missiles to. Uh, what haven't we seen? The AWACS. Uh, copy of the A50, Russian. J11s, older flanker variants. Really just there to fill the numbers. Uh, and that, viewers, is everything. I never actually got a full quantity. I think there's about 350 Chinese uh, fighters, so a third of that is about 120. So 120 Ch Chinese fighters. Dark, the first of our humans. Oh, and fire. Up and Adam. be incredibly difficult if not impossible to, for my humans to operate today in what will be undoubtedly a missile storm including stealth or semi-stealth fighters so i'm glad it's them in there and not me is what i'm saying china have fired 50 ballistic missiles in the scaled down variant 74 anti-ship missiles uh blue have lost 21 ships so far there should be 22 oh look one survived all right taiwan 18 Pack 3 Patriot missiles were fired, shot down 18 of those ballistic missiles, but just not enough to stop the barrage. Cost so far, Red have used uh, $700 million worth of missiles. That's a lot. Blue oof, have lost $10.5 billion worth of ships. First missile out, look at that. So PL-15 for Cannonball. Fired at. 64 miles. Four missiles out now. J20 is also firing. Max range, max range of the missiles is about 120 miles claimed by them, but uh, that's in an absolute opportune firing situation. Nothing will be opportune here, or optimal, sorry, better word. Mark 4 capable, uh, equivalent to America's AM120 D3. And look at this J-20, he's spammed off all four of his PL-15s. Now in reality, he would turn around and go and land and rearm, but I don't want to do that because I need aircraft to die, because otherwise I can guarantee we'll kill our server, which of course always has limited ability. And Americans fired an AIM-120, very ambitious shot, and I think it was actually shot at a bad guy. Yeah, I shot that. However, with a maximum range of about 60, yeah, about 60 miles, I doubt it will reach. Maybe it will, we'll see. Okay, um, more F-16s firing now. China have fired 35 PL-15s. America have fired two AMRAMs in response. Big range differences. And it's probably the J-20s which are upsetting that ratio, ratio so much. China have fired 39 missiles. America are starting to fire now. Six AMRAMs out. And look at that. He's managed to get an AMRAM out on a J-20. Fair play. Just missed. That jerking is just the server struggling. It will still be modelled well. It's just the visual aspect that's going to be modelled badly. Hence why I've had to do the whole scaling down. Right, people are starting to get shot down. Three F-16s getting shot down as the first PL-15s rain in. 56, 57 Chinese air-to-air missiles fired. Uh, 13 uh, 
If I say American, I mean Taiwanese, obviously, but they're firing American missiles, so... It's kind of true. Two J-20s down! Oh! This guy has just managed to storm the J-20s. Dodge the PL-15, storm the J-20s. Two J-20s down. Well, it shouldn't have happened, but it has. Uh, my humans having to go cold because uh, A120 is dropping on their heads. Seven F-16s, eight F-16s down, still two J-20s down. Distances between fronts have got very close now, 20 miles. Very dangerous for a Chinese J-20 to do that. But he's doing it for the reasons that I said, I need aircraft to be cold. So they'll just have to take the losses. Nine F-16s down, two J-20s down, but F-16s are now firing more AMRAMs at J-20s. Might be a third down. Will be a third down. Oh, wow, look at that. Two J-20s down still, oh, more missiles going in. 11 F-16s down, three J-20s down now. Dark's managed to get halfway across the straight and is chasing fire and push. Big, big squadron of J-20s now coming over at Mark II. Four J-20s down now to 11 F-16s. I just can't see enough why it's happening. They're just getting a little too close. The F-16s, powerful as they are, dodging the PL-15s, as you can see. Sorry for the glitchiness. And attracting the J-20s in and shooting them with their shorter range AMRAMs. Four J-20s down. No. Three J-20s down and a J-10 down. 13 F-16s down. Still getting a bit laggy. Oh, another J-20 down. Five Chinese down. Strangely, it happened nothing like this in single player, but I kind of like it. It's a bit more fair this way. Seven Chinese fighters down. Still very laggy, but again, everything on the server will still be modelled. As long as it doesn't stop completely, we're okay. Seven Chinese fighters down. Uh, Fourteen Taiwanese fighters down. Eight Chinese fighters down. J-20 not living up to their name, but they are modelled. Well, as I said, they are modelled to the low radar cross-section. The main problem is their first PL-15 salvos just never really hit home well enough on the F-16s. That said, there are uh, 15 F-16s down. It's still about a 2 to 1 kill ratio. 9 Chinese fighters down. 16 Taiwanese fighters down. Taiwan's just flying better. All skill levels set equal today, viewers. 10 Chinese fighters down. j 15 is going down now. Just going to focus on the main bit of the action. Oh no, that fight has stopped. Does that mean the whole server's packed up? Probably, but let's run it on a little bit more just in case. No, no, we're still going. I think we're still going. Come on, server. Hold up, hold up. 11 Chinese fighters down. 18 uh, Taiwanese fighters down. So Taiwan, Taiwan have given China a massive bloody nose here. Missiles still moving. A few aircraft still moving. We'll leave it running for a couple more minutes. Now, although it looks weird on my screen, stuff will still be modelled on the server. Oh, that's such a shame. Poosh and Dark even gotten themselves in a dogfight. Ah. Are the kills still going up? Skills are still going up, Simba. 12 Chinese down, 30 Taiwanese down. So on the server, stuff's still being simulated. It's just it's not got time to send that info out to us to, to watch it. Yeah, I see stuff jumping and updating. This just takes a long time between jumps. 34, 36 Taiwanese down. Sorry, I can't show you this is lovely 3D viewers, but this is, you know, there are limits in tech. 37 Taiwanese down, 38 Taiwanese down, 40 Taiwanese down. What's dying so much? Oh, it's the Mirages. They've just got into combat. They're just not competing. Again, my apologies for not being able to show you. Stuff's starting to move again. We have the server back. Look at that, viewers. So the we've got to a point where enough aircraft have died now, viewers. The server's got time to start sending information out. Right, we're back in it. Now... Although it looked weird, it would all have been simulated properly in the background. It doesn't skip any steps on the server. It just skips sending us visual cues. So, I've got to try and show you what's happened. And I know literally as much as you. A120Cs are out. C5 missiles. These are representing Sky Sword 2 from the FCK. And they're killing. 20 Chinese fighters down. 44 Taiwanese fighters down. And a PL-10 close range missile going out. Shot down a Mirage. Mirages didn't really seem to make much of an impact. F-16s very much still in the fight. <laughs> 21 Chinese fighters down and all sorts of AMRAM has been fired. Another J-10 down. J-20 misses. Another J-10 down. 22 Chinese fighters down. 
Another Chinese fighter down. 25 Chinese fighters down. Really getting a bloody nose here. 28 Chinese fighters down. To 49. Remember, there's no SAMs at the moment. Oh, I have one thing I forgot to explain, viewers. The reason I've not simulated man pads is because, in reality, China wouldn't really fight over the terrain. They would be clever enough not to. Uh, but I can't script that in for the AI. Uh, as it turns out, it doesn't look like they're going to get a chance to because Taiwan, amazingly, are pushing back. I did not see this coming. And this never happened in single players. That's really interesting. Why is that? Well, it's the J20s have all been used up. We're now on to the J5s, J16s and J10s, which they can fight with their F16s. 33 Chinese down. Too much happening, obvious to me. And a dogfight in the middle of this. A J20 uh, versus something. 33, 34 Chinese down. 53 Taiwanese down. Hopefully we'll get a tack view report of this and we can have a quick look in 3D at the end of it. It's where we're going to get our best data. So I suggest waiting until the end if you can. 35 Chinese fighters down. 53 Taiwanese down. Chinese fighters getting pushed halfway out into the strait by these long range uh, C7 AMRAMs. Have any humans managed to get a kill in all of this? I'm aware it's probably all lagged out for you. Yeah, I think I have three or four. Wow. Fair play. F16 down. China making a renewed push. 37 Chinese down for 58 Taiwanese down. Indigenous down. 39 Chinese down for 60 Taiwanese down. Well, I am hugely surprised at how well China have done here. Saber is flash one. Well done. Well done. Fair play. 43 Chinese down to 61 Taiwanese down. Oh, double tap in the Chinese. Angry, angry Taiwanese. Oh. He survived that somehow. Sometimes missiles don't fuse uh, depending on certain parameters. In a, oh, um, that will do it. Now what I'm trying to say is the frag pattern is modelled in uh, this year. Wow, F5's getting into combat. Another dogfight, an F-16 versus a J-20. Got my money on the F-16, probably. Still, planes pouring out. FCK-1s heading out. 50 Chinese down to 66 Taiwanese down. Sabre merge, doesn't see it. Finally some human action. Dodges the missile, I think. Yes, he does. And he's in a dogfight. Uh, Sabre's in an F-16, in a J-10 here. Uh, I would pick the F-16 every day. J-10's really going down at a high rate of knots. It's the C model we've simulated. 53 Chinese down to 70 Taiwanese down. Sabre splash two. Well done. Don't know how you're doing it. F-16 down. J-11 evaded. 54 Chinese down to 73 Taiwanese down. I think Taiwan's actually catching up, believe it or not. Again, I reiterate, everything's set fairly and squarely, viewers. But a big batch of Chinese firing more PL-15s, which are causing all sorts of problems for the Taiwanese. 56 Chinese down to 75 Taiwanese down. And still a load of indigenous fighters to come. F-5 still taking off. Right, now here's a big problem. Taiwan is finally running out of F-16s. It's got two more AI F-16s. And I think it's really going to feel that. We are 27 minutes into the simulation. 58 Chinese down for 77 Taiwanese down. Oof, in the face. J-15 down, J-16 down. 61 Chinese down for 78 Taiwanese down. Amazingly, Taiwan are catching up, just doing better. J-16 down. Now this is really interesting. China have fired 370 long-range missiles. Taiwan have only fired 177. So why have they done, done so well? That I don't know, viewers. We'll have to find out in attack view. I suspect a lot of these PL-15s have been fired inefficiently on targets that were, had already beaten them, already gone cold, had already notched them. And a lot were probably wasted. I've seen it happen before. Nearly 400 of these missiles fired now. Some old adders going out. Taiwan guy there surviving a hit again. He didn't fuse right. Flash times two. Well done. 65 Chinese down for 81. 82 Taiwanese down. FCKs are in. How well are they going to do? Absolutely no idea. Uh oh. Last F 16 is about to go down. Hello, Cannibal. Can we help you? Yeah, froze. Yeah, it's just you. It's just you. Right, Dark is managed to get. Pretty much in ACM with these guys, but it's going to face the wrath of a bunch of PL-15s. 
66 Chinese down for 86 Taiwanese down. Now the biggest problem for Taiwan is their F-16s have gone. They've got one more here and it's out of weapons. Which means they're now resting their hope on these uh, FCK-1s which can do air-to-air -air fighting. Sabres flash a third. Well done. 68 uh, Chinese down for 90 Taiwanese down. Sky Sword 2 being fired. Sky Sword 2 hit. Don't need fancy pants missiles. Sky Sword will do it. 16 to 70 to 92. Next, all that's left of China is the squadron of J11s. These, these are older fighters. So it's older J11s versus uh, more moderate FCK ones. Wow, it's been something, viewers. It's been an, a roller coaster, an up and down roller coaster. Was this ever going to crash? Was it going to stay up? It stayed up, and the fight was excellent in the end. And Taiwan have just done so good, and I would love to know why. I would guess the F-16 just outperformed in terms of dodging missiles. That would be my... See, see that there? Another example of an F-16 dodging a missile. And then F-5 is going to go chase him down. Now, that's great. Get out of my land. Because I didn't say earlier, the reason I haven't um, modelled the man pads that are uh, plentiful are because in real life, obviously, China, China would not fight over Taiwan. They would fight over the sea. Now, in reality... Assuming that Taiwan didn't get any help from America, they're pretty much screwed now because uh, China obviously has reserves. It can call up the Central Theater or the Southern Theater or whatever. But they've done well, and if nothing else, they've held the fort until we can get the uh, Seventh Fleet over there. Last indigenous fighters going in now. Dark about to clock a PL something. Bang in the face. We are 33 minutes into the simulation. It has gone relatively quickly, bearing in mind how much has happened. I'll uh, read off the scoreboard at the end, viewers, in case you can't see it. There's a few long-range PL-15s left. Good kill on a J-10. Good kill on an FCK. Outrunning the Sky Sword. Not outrunning the Sky Sword. Pop. And this PL-15 about to make that. Oh, good dodge. The humans are up again, firing their missiles. An adder out from an old J-11. PL-15 entering, re-entering orbit. Pop. All right, Dark Sabre, you're on your last life, please. Dark going out swinging. I believe that's what you call a target-rich environment. Dark dodges an adder into ACM, but he knows he's got all sorts of Pikachu after him. Yeah, I said it, Pikachu. Dodges PL-15, you have no... Ro oh, yeah, he's not there. Oops. And Sabre is dead and that's it taiwan down simba please pause server wow we what a battle viewers i must admit i thought it was going to be an absolute whitewash for china and in sometimes i ran it it was you never really know what what you're going to get um so let uh, me just do a review uh of the stats China lost 86 aircraft, 39 J-10s, 19 J-15s, 12 J-20s, and 16 J-11s. They fired 434 PL-15s, or whatever, long-range missiles, 30 low-range missiles, 74 anti-ship missiles, and 54 uh, ballistic missiles at a cost of 6.8 billion, with a B, dollars. Taiwan lost 105 aircraft, their entire air force. 9 F5s, 50 F15s, uh, sorry, F16s, 12 Mirages, 34 uh, FCKs, their entire Navy, basically. Fired 217 Beyond Visual Range Missiles, which connected really well. Uh, 6 Within Visual Range Missiles, 20 SAMs, including SM2s fired, finally, uh, at a cost of $17.3 billion. In terms of who lost and won, uh, I suppose tactically China won because Taiwan is now, you know, is now defenseless. But what a bloody nose they got. The entire Eastern China command has been shot down. Probably to everyone's surprise at the moment, actually. So they're probably not very happy about it. Viewers, a lot happened there. Let's go through it really quickly. So first, the representative ballistic strike. Whee! Pop! Uh, then the uh, naval attack, which you've all seen. Wow, look at that. Look at the ballistics and look at everything happen. I love it when stuff happens. Pop. And then uh, the aircraft start up. And let's see if we can get a rough flavour for what happened. We're probably not. It's probably just going to be chaos. Yes, it's just chaos, viewers. 
there's nothing you can do to analyze that. One thing you note is there's a lot more PL15s in the year than anyone 20 sees. But for some yeah, reason, I was just about to say that. Why there's is a lot of PL15s? Yeah, and they're modeled really well. With, with We haven't changed them, and they've always been very good. So it must be more about the aircraft defending. A lot more F16s must have dodged them and pulled the red guys in. Well, if you look at me right now off on the side, there's probably like 10 or 12 missiles fired at me. Oh, there you are. Right, and you've beaten those missiles, you've wasted them, and then they've had to come in close. You've popped them with a, an AIM-120. In fact, look at the... You've done it right there. Cannonball down. Fair play, guys. Yeah, server stops, but like I said, in the background, it's all still being modelled, so don't worry too much about it, viewers. And then it restarts. And then at this point, for some reason... Uh, so China have steamrolled at this point, but for some reason, when they get near the shores of Taiwan, even though there's no active SAMs... The, the the it slows and the and Taiwan really punches back and eventually obviously the Taiwan Air Force is depleted that's the end of the simulation don't know why it didn't go to the end but you all saw it I just thought that was really impressive I really thought it was going to be a whitewash and a bit boring uh, Taiwan stood up really well I'm, I'm chuffed they did so well uh, pilots um, I don't know any anecdotes or what, what was it like from your point of view chaos hectic yeah. Oh, yeah RWR was going off constantly didn't know what to dodge when yeah that's the thing that's why it's so hard to operate as a human. Anyway, I'll stop wasting your time, viewers. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you want to follow up. But um, I'm glad we did that. I thought that was great. And bye-bye.